When disaster strikes, countries are thrown into disarray. Into this gap, aid flows. The world believes aid is used to rebuild the lives of those most in need. But is this the truth? My name is Anthony Lowenstein, and I'm an independent journalist and author. For more on this and where it may well lead, let's speak with Anthony Lowenstein. But we shouldn't forget one very important point. One... Talking earlier about the, uh, the international fallout from what's happened in the UK. These issues didn't suddenly become serious when Trump became president. He's going to make things a lot worse. He's going to make disaster capitalism on steroids. But ultimately, these issues have been around for 30, 40 years. I've spent the last decade listening to frustrated voices around the world. They are hell-bent on destroying the Haitian state and turning us into a collectivity of bad guys. I've seen people and corporations making money from misery. We have a lot of great people working for our government, but we've given them a box of broken tools. A disaster capitalism takes over. But what happens when the profit motive enters the aid equation? When aid in politics meets business, who really gains from the multi-billion dollar industry? My journey takes me across the globe and through a murky world inhabited by governments, non-government organisations and secretive businesses. In Afghanistan, Haiti and Papua New Guinea, the story of disaster capitalism unfolds.